Good afternoon, this is Paige Harper, Kyle Danes, Ben Lazenby, and Paolo Poemape of Group 1-6, and we are excited to present to you our GoFundMe analytics solution. Thank you for joining us for this presentation. For this presentation, we will first introduce the problems that GoFundMe is facing during this worldwide pandemic. Next, we will discuss the system requirements that we have incorporated into our solution. Following this, we will present our solution and demonstrate how our solution will be put to use in a walkthrough. GoFundMe has experienced an influx in COVID-19 related campaigns due to the recent worldwide outbreak. More and more coronavirus related campaigns are being created, which increases the difficulty of deciphering between higher and lower quality campaigns. In addition, there are fraudulent campaigns that appear to be legitimate and must be avoided. Campaign creators and GoFundMe analysts need a way to determine what makes a campaign successful or unsuccessful. In order to provide GoFundMe with the features necessary to solve the issues that they are facing, we focused on three main goals. One, to provide GoFundMe analysts with a way to determine the quality of a campaign to hopefully prevent fraud. Two, to provide campaign creators with guidance on how to launch a successful campaign. And lastly, to improve the function of GoFundMe during and after the coronavirus outbreak. To help us reach these goals, we created a list of system requirements. First, we prioritize creating a search feature that provides GoFundMe analysts with a series of search constraints. These constraints will allow the analysts to view campaigns based on the features they wish to test. The search feature also assigns a quality rating to each campaign. Second, we determine to set up a prediction calculator that will analyze a campaign creator's input and report the potential success of the campaign. Based on these requirements, we went through a series of steps using many different software programs and technologies to produce our solution. We began creating our solution by coding a search feature into our web application. With the search feature, analysts can select the country, category, charity status, goal, beneficiary, and percent raise to be displayed for each campaign. Once the search requirements are entered, the user can navigate to a campaign details page for each individual campaign. This page displays additional information on each campaign, including the description. Following this, we wrote an algorithm in Python that would evaluate each campaign and assign it with a score based on a series of metrics. We then integrated the quality score into the search and campaign details page. In addition, the search results can be sorted based on quality score. This page will allow GoFundMe analysts to view the quality of campaigns based on individual combinations of features that they wish to test. They will be able to see which combination of features will produce generally high or low quality campaigns. To create our predictive calculator, we began by cleaning the campaign's data set, which was provided by GoFundMe. We ran through a series of data cleaning steps, including removing unnecessary features, replacing missing values, changing outliers, and fixing skewness. Once the data was fully cleaned, we created two models in Azure Machine Learning Studio that ran text analytics on the title and description of the campaigns. These two models were run to predict two things, the average amount of money donated by each donor and the predicted number of donors. We ran many tests, each time slightly altering the features included, the type of regression, and other parameters in order to get the best model to predict the success of the campaign features. We then deployed the model so that we could incorporate it into our website. And finally, we were able to integrate the predictive calculator into our web application. By including this calculator into our application, Campaign creators can enter their desired features and receive a score of how likely it is to be successful. We will now present a demonstration of our solution. This is our hosted web application on Heroku. Now through further implementation of our solution, we will have a login page 
that will allow both analysts and campaign creators to provide authentication and certification before going to the search page and prediction calculators. Let's first go take a look at the search page. As said before, the search form allows you to choose a variety of constraints and to search through the campaigns, including category, a goal range, whether the campaign's a charity, whether it has a beneficiary, the percent of goal raised, and it allows you to sort by our calculated quality score. As an example, let's search all categories with a range of $10,000 to $50,000. It is not a charity and it will not have a beneficiary, but the percent of goal raised should be 50 to 75%, and we will sort by the quality score. Now it outputs a list of the quality score, title, current amount, goal, percent raised, the amount of donors, and the country of each campaign that fit those criteria. Each campaign also has a link to a details page. Let's take a look at one. The details page provides more details of the campaign than listed previously, including the name of the creator, the specific location, as well as campaign hearts, which are followers, the number of times shared, days active, and if it's a charity and if it has a beneficiary. It also shows the quality score out of five. Now, although our calculated quality score is impossible to do with complete accuracy, the quality score does provide some sort of um, estimation for genuine uh, for legitimacy of each campaign. Now, for example, if a quality, if a campaign had a beneficiary, it would most likely provide a higher quality score than campaigns that do not have a beneficiary. So we included that in our calculation. There's also a link at the bottom of the details page to go to the GoFundMe page on GoFundMe website. Let's now take a look at the prediction calculator. As stated before, our campaign success calculator uh, predicts the average amount per donation and the amount of donators based on these metrics, which are if it automatically posts to Facebook, the category, if it has a beneficiary, if the campaign is visible in a search, the launch date, country, and zip code, whether the campaign's a charity and if it has an NPO ID, as well as the goal, title, and description. Let's input some values and see what we get. So let's choose travel and adventure for category. Let's make it a, have a beneficiary. We'll provide a launch date of 2020, March 15th in the US. We will make sure our campaign is not a charity. We will provide a goal of $150,000 and a title, coronavirus cure. Let's help doctors find a cure for COVID-19. Now let's see our results. Based on those inputs, our campaign is predicted to have 154 donors with an average of $149 per donation. That's it for the demonstration. Our solution addresses the needs of both GoFundMe analysts and GoFundMe users, who are especially affected by what is happening in the world today. By enabling the analysts to identify what features in a campaign make it a higher, low quality, they will be informed and be able to inform users concerning friendly and low quality campaigns. By enabling the campaign creators to determine what qualities form the perfect combination, they will be able to launch successful campaigns for those in need during this time. While we created this application with the promise posed by the coronavirus epidemic in mind, we believe that this solution would be useful for GoFundMe now and in the future. We appreciate the time for joining us in this presentation. Please don't hesitate us to reach out at this email showing the in the slide. Thank you.